Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're gonna to be looking at board feet when you mill lumber. So we're gonna first look at estimating how many board feet are in the log. And then from there, we're gonna go and mill up some lumber and calculate the board feet. Uh, knowing board feet and its calculation is key if you plan on buying or selling lumber. Let's start by figuring out how to scale a log or figure out how many or approximate how many board feet are in a given log. You need two measurements and you could get that with a regular framing tape, a logging tape, or a layout tape. Those two measurements are diameter and length of log. On the diameter, the first thing is you measure the narrower end. So if there's a lot of taper on that log, you're going to cut that taper off so you always measure the diameter on the smallest side or the smallest diameter. And additionally, when you measure that diameter, you do it inside the bark. So you even kind of subtract the cambium layer, and I'll show you that, and then the length of the log. Sixteen foot six. So our length of our log, sixteen six. The diameter, we'll take the smallest diameter here, inside the bark. So we'll take that diameter and that's nine inches. So we got 16, six long, diameter of nine inches, it's a pretty small little log. Let's get a couple more measurements, put the camera over the shoulder and calculate using a table how many approximate board feet are in these logs. Here's our second log, 21 feet long. This is a narrow end, the butt cuts down there. So 21 feet, one foot, six inches. Our third log, 21 foot long, one foot diameter on the narrow end inside the bark. Here's some cool log scaling books from 1977, 1982. These are cool, it's a pocket sized book. Um, and you can look up the tables in here. Kind of cool things to have. But in this case, I have this uh, scale right here, Doyle scale. I just printed it off of the internet and I'll put a link to it in the description. Across the top is length in feet and you might not find the exact length you have there. Down the center here is diameter in inches. So you could use those old books. You could use a scale chart like this or you could actually do it with an equation. Uh, and this is a Doyle log rule equation and I'll talk about that in a minute or so. So there's tons of ways to scale logs. I think, you know, in the past there were probably a hundred different ways. Some are going to benefit the timber cutters and some is going to benefit the mill. Pretty much now there's only three scaling systems and the most common out west is the Doyle scale system. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. Um, you know, is it great? I don't know. It depends, I guess, if you're buying or selling, but it is a common one and it is important that you agree on the common one. So the first log we looked at was 16 foot, six inches long and nine inch diameter. So we're in diameter inches, which is good. And then feet would be 16.5 feet or we're probably just gonna have to round that down to 16 feet. So here it is, here's 16 feet for length. The smallest diameter in this chart is 10. We're at nine. So it's really an approximation at 36 board feet. So it's really going to be a lot less than that, um, more than 10%, because, you know, an inch on the diameter is not 10% less. This is the most amount of wood. So this is a very rough, we'll put plus or minus, a very rough approximation. When we check it with the equation, we'll see how far off we are. The second log was 21 feet, 1 foot 6 inches. So we're in feet here, and 1, one foot 6 inches. 12 inches to the foot, this is going to convert to 18 inches. So I'm going to come down to 18 inch diameter. And then on the chart, I don't have 21 feet. It only goes up to 17 feet. So what I'm going to have to do is use 15 feet and 6 feet and then add those two together. So I'm at 18 inches. 15 and 6 gives me 21 feet. So it's going to be 184 board feet plus the 6 foot log is 73 board feet which is going to be a total of, let me use my calculator there, 184 plus 73, or 257 board feet. 
We'll probably just round that up. It's only accurate to two significant digits to 260. Our third log is 21 feet, one foot. So one foot, we'll convert that to 12 inches. Go up to 12 right here. And again, we have a 21 foot log, so we're gonna use 15 and six. And a 12 inch log, 15 foot long is 60 board feet. And 24 board feet for a six foot long log. So a total of 84 board feet. So that's how you use the Doyle scale. Let's double check those using our equation here and a calculator. So our equation is the board feet is equal to diameter in inches minus four, that quantity divided by four, the whole thing squared times itself times the length in feet. So our first one right here, we'll see how far off we are using the wrong number there, is nine inches. So we're gonna put nine in for diameter minus four divided by four, quantity squared times the length of 16 feet. So we'll do that on the calculator. Nine minus four, five divided by four. Then we're gonna take that answer 1.25 and use the square key right there. And then we're gonna multiply that by the length of 16 and end up with 25. So using our equation here would be 25 board feet, substantially less than the 36 board feet. And remember again, that was because we used nine inches instead of 10 inches. Our Doyle scale did not have nine inches, so we used 10. So you could see how far off it is and why an equation would be useful. So that's our first log. Our second log, we got 257 feet. We're gonna do the same thing here using our equation. The diameter, 18 minus four divided by four, quantity squared, times the length of 21. So on the calculator here, we have 18 minus four, divided by four. Then down here is the square button. We're gonna square that answer, then multiply it by 21, and we get 257. Exact same thing as that table. So 257 board feet. So you could see that table is really generated out of this equation. Then next, we'll just do this last one with the equation. We'll do 12 minus four divided by four, quantity squared times the 21. Eight divided by four is two, squared is four. Four times 21 is 84, exactly what our table gave us. So you do a lot of ways. Um, it is important that you, the timber feller, the sawmill, uh, everybody involved all agrees on the same scale. Um, the standard usually is a Doyle scale. You could use that Doyle table in the description, the equation, or an old logging book. All right, well, I brought those logs over to a friend's house who has a mill, and we're milling them up together. Uh, this is a swing blade mill. This guy's really skilled at it, cutting the cants right there. And then we're gonna cut dimensional lumber out of this log. So two by fours, two by sixes, uh, one bys, and we're gonna use that dimensional lumber to build a small shed. So we'll calculate the board foot of the finished lumber. This is softwood milling, so pine, fir, and so forth. It's a two by four, but the actual dimensions are one and a half by three and a half. However, when you calculate the board foot of lumber, not of logs, you use that two by four dimension. So I'll go ahead and put the camera over my shoulder and we'll just talk about calculating board feet of softwood dimensional lumber. A board foot is 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch. So it's actually a volume measurement. I mean, it's a square foot, one inch thick. So if you figure that out, is a cubic measurement, you have 12 inches times 12 inches, 144 square inches times one more inch, which will give you 144 inches cubed. So it's a volume measurement. Now, if I have a two by four, say 10 feet long, ooh, not my finest drawing, 
right? So I have a two by four, 10 feet long. How many board feet is that? Well, you could convert everything into inches and go two inches times four inches times 12 inches to the foot. So 12 times 10, 120 inches. And you can multiply all three of those numbers together and go two times four times 120 equals 960 cubic inches. And then divide that by the 144 cubic inches. And that'll give you a board foot. So I'm going to divide that by 144 and see that it's 6.7 board feet. So that's one way to calculate board feet. Just take the full volume of the board and then divide by 144 cubic inches. The other way you could think of this is as this 2 by 4 is 1 foot long, well, it's 2 inches times 4 inches, 8 inches. And then 8 inches is how much of 12 was well, 2 thirds. So it's 2 thirds of a board foot for every foot. Does that make sense? And then you could take that 2 thirds times 10, right? 2 thirds times 10, and it'll give you the same 6.7 board feet. A couple of things to remember is the actual dimension here is one and a half by three and a half, but use the two inches by four inches to figure it out. So hope you enjoyed this video, log scaling, and then actual board feet calculations, some cool math. Um, the bottom line is always the bottom line. Knowing your numbers really helps your profits. So understanding this will go a long way, whether you're in timber felling, construction, buying, selling lumber, anything to do in the lumber field, uh, understanding these numbers probably go pretty far. I'd love to hear your comments below if you're in construction buying lumber or if you're out in the forest felling trees and making lumber. Uh, I'm sure all of the other viewers as well would love to hear what you do and how you use board feet or approximating board feet off of logs. Thank you for watching.